I mean, I always assume that architecture and design kind of go up and down. Um, and I would say that the, the general public is really interested in architecture. I think that the architects have not been so interested in architecture. I think they're more interested in silly discussions about stark attacks and not stark attacks or, you know, humbleness from the economy or signature buildings. Silly, silly things, which, you know, I mean, like David Chipperfield protests that he's not a stark architect. Meanwhile, he's like clearly lobbying to get a Pritzker Prize. So it's, it's like a very false kind of modesty and a silly argument to have this kind of modest versus, versus stark attack. I'm afraid that our field isn't going to know how to talk to culture anymore and have a cultural argument. And there's not a critical argument anymore. There's just these ridiculous journalistic distinctions. and. It's been 10 years, and I, I just assumed it was a little bit of a valley and criticism, but I mean, maybe it's the new norm. So that's very frightening to me. It's just the loss of discourse it, in a public way. I mean, the newspapers and magazines, you know, they have music critics for architecture criticism, and it's, it's not a good time. I miss Herbert Mouchamp. I miss Nikolai. Borisov. I, I miss all kinds of people, and, and I don't see them getting replaced fast enough. So I really am hoping the critical world and the journalist world stays, you know, keeps on trying to get better.